Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of the Guys Playing Games podcast. Uh, my name is Perry. I'm Ed. And I'm Az. Cool, hello. Um, the schedule for today is a bit of a spicy one. We will be opening with a quick recap of what we've been playing uh, for the last few weeks, because we've not really done that. Uh, yeah, we've had other episodes on. Um, we're going to have a few newsy bits to talk about, and then finally we're going to have somewhat of a debate about uh, the topic of cross-platform gaming. It's something we've spoken about a bit off off uh, podcast, and we were like, yeah, you know what, it's a, it's a good topic, so let's, let's talk about that. Uh, no yeah, everyone's, further... everyone's, uh, cool, mate. Sorry, about it at the moment. Yeah, yeah, everyone's talking about it at the minute, yeah. Uh, no further ado, um, let's start with Ed. What have you been playing, mate? How are you, how are you doing? You right? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Good. He's, good. He's it's, good. it's too warm, but it's so it's, warm. It's you know, worst. typical British, like it's too warm when it's cold. It's too cold, and you want it to be warm when it's warm. You want it to be cold. Well, well I'm saying, um, you boys, if I tell you I'm not too warm, and I'm actually <laughs> a very nice temperature right now, and I don't even have a fan on. How about that? I had to turn my fan off for this podcast, and it's the saddest thing because it's looking at me. <laughs> I'm upset I can't see your webcam because we just see the little beads of sweat pouring down your face. I'm liquid man. <laughs> All dripping. You be, you be hydro man, like you fucking yeah. yeah. Shooting I like, I like the cold. Give, 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 give me give me sub zero temperatures. That's that's what I'm happy with. Yeah. Go on then. Um, yeah. Let's know what you that. what you've been playing. What you've been so, up to. So in the, in the wake of the behemoth that is E3. Um. So in the run up to Division Two, Division added some little. They've added a thing called shields to Division One which are like these achievement things that you do. They are very specific yeah, requirements. There's going to be 12 of them in total. They've released the first four, and then the other eight are unlocking one per month up to the release of Division 2. I remember you telling me about and them. Don't they, they, they give you like in-game resources, don't yeah, they? So yeah, yeah. So basically, by completing these in Division 1, you will unlock like perks and rewards in Division 2. Um, there's kind of three tiers, I think there's three tiers, I want to say. Three or four, four tiers. Let's go with four yeah, tiers. Okay. Um, the first being just completing one shield, second being completing the other three shields uh, that have launched at the moment, and then the third and fourth tiers are completing the next sets of four for the full 12. Um <clears throat> yes, I've been I've been doing some of that. I've, um, I've completed the first four, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, well there's a fair bit of grinding involved, and reading through the list of some of the upcoming ones, I'm not sure if I'm going to get all twelve because some of them are pretty grinding. There's, there's one for getting every. Have you got every game? Have you got like the whole time before the next game's out though to do that? Yeah, well, once the shield is live, it's it's like I'm assuming it will be past launch of Division Two. So if you pick up like division one the month before division two launches you'll be able to do all the shields but i guess in into the future that will un, just unlock stuff on your ubi account for division two so that makes sense um oh. yes i've been doing that um the other thing i've been doing got a good award didn't i fucking finally you got, you have got, you completed oh, it? Oh, God of War. Is, I thought you said you got an award. I was like, what award? What did you yeah, win? I got an award. <laughs> you got an award for fucking buying God of War about eight months too late. <laughs> it's not that long. It's, 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 long. it's, it's, it's almost long. eight months. Not almost. It came out like two months, months ago. <laughs> yeah. It might as well be eight months, damn it. So have you been Shut playing? What do you, what do you think? Uh, I think I'm about halfway through-ish. Oh, not, so you've been playing Because I, I, I went in very non-spoiler like i literally had seen pretty much nothing of the game so i'm not 100 percent sure how far i am through but after a conversation with as the other day when i said oh i'm up to this point and you were like oh you're a fair way through so i think i'm halfway ish have you done much more uh, since then that point uh i've only done it a little bit i haven't had a chance um so yeah but it's uh i mean it's really I'm disappointed I'm it's just out there. i'm disappointed that you've got that game and you're wasting fucking time with Division. What, what are you doing? <laughs> the fuck are you well, doing? I've been playing Division on stream. Yeah, stream God of War. Be like, look at me fucking punching shit. Just watch <laughs> me punch everything. Watch me punch. That has to be the stream title. That has to be the, the name of the stream. <laughs> watch me punch. Just watch me punch. God of War dot dot dot. Watch me punch. You should say it as watch me fist. Punch of War. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you because people are like, what the fuck is going on on that screen? <laughs> Fisting, what the fuck? Wow. 
Uh, well, yeah, it, that's it, like a it's very a lot... fucking grim turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's a much bigger game than I was expecting. It's like because I I kind of went into it pretty blind, and yeah. there's kind of a lot more kind of RPG mechanics. Cat, oh, cat no. walking in front of the camera. No, uh, there's a lot more kind of RP, RPG. Yeah, there's a lot more kind of RPG mechanic. Like you get the like Smiths to like craft gear and like you have different like there's different armor slots and you upgrade your armor and your weapons and your runes and and there's kind of like lots of collectibles and <laughs> sub quests and like yeah so it's a lot more rpg than i was expecting i thought it was just going to be a pretty linear sort of action game but but no like it's, it's kind of yeah, this it's big very, world it's very 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 different to the original game slot but I, I've, yeah. I've got a question for you how mm. are you finding it considering you've never played a god of war game before really fucking good and i can appreciate the callbacks because i know loosely like i know he was like the greek god of war and i know he became god of war in the first one because he kills Ares. so there are callbacks to certain things um and I, I you know i'm appreciating those moments even though i you know haven't played the previous games um and on top of that like the game in itself like the characterizations like it's weird like the further i'm getting in the game i'm enjoying it more and more it's like it's not that i'm you know quite often with games like you know you play them for like x amount of time and you kind of start to lose interest because they're repetitive <laughs> ever. but this one well, i'm just getting, getting into it more and more and more the more the characters kind of grow and interact and like it's kind of really drawing me into it and kind of the more powerful you become and you can do more stuff in the game it's like it's well, really i would kind of advise a bit of advice for you don't mm -hmm. do what I did and do the side stuff <clears throat> while you're playing. Go go and do go an adventure while before you finish the main story. Because when you finish the main story, I, I mean you might be different to me, but when I finish that main story, going back and doing the grindy side stuff was a real chore because you kind of lose yeah. purpose for it. I mean, I'm finding there's quite a lot of side stuff. Well, certainly some of the stuff that I've come across, which is seems to be quite high level. So I can't really complete it where I yeah, am. Yeah, some of it you do need to go back for, but there's bits, of, there's a, a lot of side stuff you can just do while you're going through the game. Um, mm. So just just explore as much as possible before. And I, I'm really enjoying all the little, like, environmentally puzzly things of like you know unlocking doors for chests and stuff. Like, there's a lot of really nice sort of mechanics that they've built and the way that you gain access to, like the the to yeah. let's say the tools that unlock certain areas that you have to come back to and do stuff it's um it's very nicely paced some of the level design is like astonishing it just keeps getting better there's like if if i say to as the bit where you get the chisel yeah, like, yeah. that that whole area around like what kind of what that level is centered around is just yeah. nuts and like really like quite spectacular and like um yeah i'm kind of interested to see like what other areas and environments are all sort of towards the end game so like it's it's been pretty pretty epic so far yeah. um yeah so all in all having a very good time and yeah yeah loving it awesome excellent good stuff so finally mostly being god of war then <laughs> yeah i mean yeah pretty much because it's, it's quite easy to kind of dip in and out of um like literally last night i, I spent quite a long time doing a puzzly thing um which then unlocked like a sort of final boss fight with two massive dudes and i was like i'm like it was you know half 10 11 o'clock i was like i haven't got time to get into this fight fucking epic boss fight so i'll just pause the game and i'll come back to it another day um yeah so it's quite easy to kind of dip in and out cool excellent wonderful well then as what about you what have you been wonderful. uh playing what's oh, been in your man. game radar for the last two stand two, stand with me what have i not been playing um Right, I'll give you a little breakdown of what I've been playing, and then I'll, I'll dive into the little bits I actually want to talk about. So I've been playing Black Mesa, which what? is the remake really? of Half-Life 1. Jesus. I've been playing that. Um, I've been playing Mario Tennis. <coughs> this is all over the shop as well. Black Mesa to Mario Tennis. Uh, <laughs> Mario Tennis, I've been playing Realm Royale, and I've been playing Quake Champions. Oh, you've been playing Realm Royale? Dude, I'll, I'll get into that in a sec. <laughs> Why are you snoring? Just fucking battle royale go away. Go carry on anyway. All right, you're gonna love my <laughs> battle royale news section in a minute. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, no. So, 
basically, <laughs> I'll have. I, I need to make an admission here. Um, I never actually, one hundred percent completed Half Life One. Never completed it. You're dead to me. I always got like seventy five percent for it, and then just never did it. I've I never, never played to... Half Life One. So I, no, I, I know. Think I, I think exactly. I beat you. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Beat we know this. What am I even doing here? Well, back, back, like, hey, right, okay, you got to think, that game come out, I was, like, eight years old. Eight years old, yeah. And, and then right. when I did discover it, when I was, like, 12... Right, he's just trying to make me feel it, worse. But I was more interested in, like, Counter-Strike, and then by then, Half-Life 2 dropped, and then I just wanted to play Half-Life 2, not fucking Not like that either. So I never... Yeah, I know, exactly. You're, you're completely <laughs> awful. At least I'm completing Jeez. Half-Life 2. <laughs> um, so I just got spoilers on Half-Life 1, and I just never went back and finished it for myself. So I was like, do you know what? And I'm trying to do this this year, because I'm really bad. This is the prime example of it. I'm really bad for completing <clears throat> games. Like, I'll get so far into them, or halfway through them, or whatever, and I'll just put them down, and something new will come out, and I'm go like, oh, okay, cool, I'll come back to it later, and I'll just never go back. The funny thing so, is, I'm, I'm kind of the opposite to that, because I force myself to finish stuff before I start something. I'm like... If I'm like 60, 70 cent through something, I'll be like, right, I'm not starting anything else until I've yeah. finished this one. Yeah, I'm so exactly yeah, the I'm same kind of as you. Opposite. I, I am I'm like not. I just... anti-spoiler boy. I, I need to finish what I'm doing before yeah. I can move on to the next title. Like pies, I need my fingers in all of them. <laughs> so I know what these games are like and how good they are, but I don't, I've ne- I don't know what the engine is. Um, <laughs> so I'm d- this, this, this next few months i'm just trying to just like play stuff that i've never completed and half life one's quite short so i should better just blitz yeah. through it i mean i did like an hour or so last night and i, I think i was reading online that i could probably finish a game in like five hours but you know what though it fucking holds up like don't get me wrong black yeah. mesa is obviously a reskin but i think even if i was playing the old 98 version of it it's like the core game holds up like crazy like it's fucking ridiculous how well it holds up um yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's nowhere to the level of like a triple A game that you buy, you buy now. But at its core, it's just it's just fucking not it's just crazy. It just shows how far ahead of its time that game was. Yeah. Like, I mean one of one of the big highlights one of the big highlights is what maybe a third in is like the big tentacle thing in the tentacle. missile silo yeah. tent, yeah, yeah, tent- yeah. So that's like such such like well such good game design. And the way that, that that whole like mission plays out is like it's just incredible. how the open is though, like the cold, like the cold open and stuff. Like, oh yeah, where... like, that's iconic now. The, yeah, sitting on the train going through the facility. Yeah, yeah. that's like an iconic. The one thing, the one thing that done my head in with Black Mesa is, is you still have to load him. So you're like you'll be going along <laughs> and it will stop and we start loading. It's like fuck it, as if you've like reskinned the game and not like fixed it so you don't have to do that. <laughs> but you know, I guess that's part of like the the charm of it. So, yeah, we played Black Mesa. Going through that. Uh, Mario Tennis just want to touch on that really quickly I fucking love I said about this the other week on it I fucking loved the online on that on the tech demo or sorry not tech demo the, the tournament demo they released a couple of weeks ago mm. played the shit out of it so I was like do you know what fuck it I'm going to pick it up pick it up picked it up the adventure mode is pretty shit um, but when you're playing friends it's fantastic me and my friend Jordan sat here the other day and had 28 games back to back 28 fucking game? games of tennis I don't, I don't know it was a lot of tennis, though. It was probably about three hours of tennis. Solid. And uh, I went forward. We could, have just, we could have just kept playing. Uh, it's fantastic. Love it. Mario. GG. Uh, what else have we playing? Uh, yeah, Quake Champions. Again, Quake, I don't really need to, I don't really need to touch on this, really. It's, I mean, it's I mean, Well, I'm kind of intrigued on this one, because I saw, I saw you were streaming it. I think it was last night. And I, I yeah. didn't know you'd been playing it. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to get your, your take on how it, how it plays. So... It's Quake at the core, so anyone could hop in and just jump in. It's standard Quake. You, you know, you don't have. Um, uh, it's not like Call of Duty fied or anything like that, where you have like gun gun loads out, loadouts and stuff like that. You you get dropped in the arena and you have to pick your weapons up and stuff like that. Um, the only difference is is the champions of the game, yeah. which is the Overwatch effect that it's got that each champion might have slightly different stats. So, like, you might start with a little bit more armor than another character. You might start with a little bit more health than another character. And then each character will have, like, an ultimate move. Um, so, like, I've been playing this Doom guy quite a bit, and Doom guy's um, <laughs> rage mode is that he... Or, sorry, ultimate is that he goes rage, and you can run around and punch people for, like, crazy amounts of damage. <laughs> um, nice. But, but it's... 
it's quite well balanced because everybody starts with an ultimate, so it's, you're not unequal at the start. Everybody starts with an ultimate straight off the bat. Well, and well then, like fully charged. Yeah, fully charged. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, like you can counter it because everybody's got one as soon as the game starts. Yeah. Um, and then like the only way to build it up quicker is like that. Like there's like drops for for uh, they're like um little set little sand timers where you can right. pick it up. It will take take some time off and you build your ult quicker. But they're not so powerful that you die in one hit or anything like that either, for, for the most part. Um, some people have, like, a special shield and stuff like that. So that's the only real shake-up to the gameplay. And then the rest of it's all vanity stuff, like skins and different stuff like that. Other than that, it's just, it just Quake. Like, it's just traditional Quake. So, is it quite nice fast-paced or very slow? Oh, extremely. No, no, no. It's oh, okay. super, super fast-paced. Okay, it's, nice. nice, it's been a nice shake-up to, like, the shooters of today because obviously yeah. as much well, as I think that was the shoot, thing that was the thing when Doom came out like what was it a couple of years ago now yeah it's not too like because it was because everything else is like slow and gritty and blah blah and Doom were just like we're well, just going to make a Doom game with like 2016 like graphics or yeah that's it and that's basically and it was like project. it was like breakneck fast um like just running around shot like double shotgunning monsters in the face and everyone was like holy crap there's feels really different but true to the it's actually the original but it feels different now because everything else has slowed down yeah no um, you're wrong it's got 2016 2016 2018 facets to it yeah. but it's very much that original quake experience you know um mm -hmm. so if you're if you're a fan of the old kind it's a shame the player base I was looking at the player base on it like the peak player base on it has been fourteen thousand people it's like how the fuck is it so small like i don't honestly don't get it i think mm -hmm. it's just because People maybe just grew out of Quake or, or what. I mean, it's still in early access. Everyone's so playing Fortnite. And everybody is playing Fortnite. <laughs> you're exactly correct. It's disgusting. Unless you're a Battle Royale right now, then you're fucked. So, uh, and then, yeah, BR, Rum Royale. Rum Royale is my favourite Battle Royale game. Really? Right now, there. That's my um, favourite, favourite that's Battle Royale game. Intriguing. And why nice why is it your favourite? It's, I like I like the fact that you don't have to build because I really liked Fortnite but I tried going back onto Fortnite a couple of weeks ago I and agree I, and, I, and I don't play I've, very often I've uninstalled Fortnite because I, the building mechanic does my head in I can't I can't build like I don't play it enough to be good at building yeah so if I go on now and I'm down to like <clears throat> I don't know just a one on one or something like that I just get out built and um, even my friends who I play with, like none of us play Fortnite that often. Um, so we just go on and get fucking trashed. And it's like, how the fuck am I meant to keep up with these people who's built a tower around me before I've even worked out how the fuck I even put a wall up? Like, <laughs> just can't. It's not the gunplay. The gunplay is fine. Yeah. If you, if you watch me playing Quake and Realm Royale on my fucking stream, like I can aim. I have good aim. Like that's <laughs> not a problem. Like I can hold my own in a gunfight. Still haven't won a fucking game of Realm Royale yet. I've come second a bunch of times. Haven't won one yet, and it's driving me a bit fucking crazy. I need to win a fucking game before <laughs> I snap my keyboard, because it's doing my head in. Um, but yeah, like, I just can't keep up with that building. It's fucking ridiculous. And PUBG, I just, I, I, I can't. I, I fall out of love with that completely. Like, oh, I just, no, I, uh, okay, fair, fair enough. I'm, I'm still in Personal enjoying. preference. I just, I can't. But with Realm Royale... It's got the it's got the cartoony look of Fortnite, which mm. isn't the mass appeal for me. But it's a nice spin because, like you, when have you have you seen any footage of it at all? I only a little bit of like trailers and stuff. Perry, you seen anything on it at all? Because you 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 were like, what the fuck are you buying that for? Mm. I didn't what? Mm. Hello, Realm Royale. Oh, Realm Royale. Um, I've have you seen, seen anything on it? it? Clearly, that's a no. You were I... disinterested in uh... me. No. Well, when you kill each other, you become a, you become a chicken. Yeah, you turn, you you turn them into away. a chicken. Oh, yeah, 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 like, yeah. It's fucking seconds. stupid. You know, there there are different we... classes. You can be like a mage or a rogue yeah, or a hunter a rogue, or a warrior. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and each so each one has, has different, different perks. Thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's shit. <laughs> you, you would say that. Um, but like, you have to forge your own armor and shit, and you get mounts. So like, you can get a horse, you can fuck off and get a little horse. You forge your armor, you can forge weapons, like special abilities, stuff like that. It's just a little bit different, a bit of a different take. I just like, and, and like, I really like the gunplay on it. Really enjoy the gunplay on it. It's nice. Um, 
yeah, I'll just 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 enjoy it. It's my personal favourite right now. I think to be honest, in the whole Royale world, and I'd have to fucking build a hut to save my own life. I can shoot people in the face. <laughs> They'll shoot me in the face, and that's how it should be. Shooting each other. Nice. So yeah, that's me. That's that's that's, every, that's about four billion games I've been playing. Pell, what you been doing? Excellent. So I've been playing some games. The sun has been out. It's been shiny and nice and warm. So I've been playing Pokemon Go. Have you? Yep. I reinstalled yeah, Pokemon this, Go. This is um, having a bit of a resurgence, isn't it? It is, yeah. And do you know why? I'm playing Let's Go Pikachu. That's exactly the reason I'm doing it. Because when I exactly. get Let's Go Pikachu, I'm going to fucking bombard that game with Pokemon that I've caught on Pokemon Go. Um, uh, I didn't realise there, yeah. there was a link. Yeah, yeah, there's a link. So, you, so what you can do is you can transfer your Pokemon to your Pokemon Go account, uh, oh, so okay. you, your Let's Go Pikachu account, and then you can um, capture them basically. So you, you st- it's not just like trading them; like you still have to capture them, but it means that you can put in like quite high power Pokemon from the from the get go. I believe mm-hmm. there's there's going to be some sort of um, way to manage like. <sighs> obviously you, you can't catch like a 3000 cp charizard from like day one like I, I think it's going to be based on gym badges that you have so the higher like the more gym badges you have the higher um combat power pokemon you can catch um but right. yes i've been i've been playing pokemon go the gen 3 stuff is out um which is really interesting um the yeah has it got like Am I right in thinking they've added trading and like yep. friends? Yeah, and yeah. Stuff? So th- yeah. this was literally like a week ago as well. Yeah so, yeah. so the trade system is really new, and there's a gift system as well. Um, oh, there's so, so much stuff's been going on with it. To be to be honest, so so firstly, Chip and I <clears throat> did about 10, 10 kilometers of walking yesterday after work because we were just catching <laughs> literally everything. We we were just walking around St James's Park for, forever. Um, we did a raid battle, which was really interesting so it basically a a, a gym um like a random gym around the world there will be an egg that spawns in the gym and then after a certain amount of time it hatches into a pokemon so and depending on so there's difficulty level for it between one to five depending on the level depends on what pokemon spawns um we got the legendary pokemon (laughs) um (laughs) we, we fought it with like 15 other people which was really cool like because you can so when you're in the battle you can see everyone else's pokemon like attacking this huge pokemon it was it was, it was really cool and then you get based on your performance in the battle and like your contribution you get a certain amount of pokeballs that you get to actually try and catch the pokemon um now i failed oh, okay. because i missed like four pokeballs it was really embarrassing and then chip actually caught it which was really cool so he's got the wow. uh he's got the legendary pokemon which is good um fuck him <laughs> so does every, everyone participating is this like if m- multiple people can catch it yeah definitely yeah so yeah. so depending on the so the majority so th- firstly it based it's based on the amount of damage you do to the legendary pokemon so if you've done like mm-hmm. a lot of damage you'll get like six balls off the bat and then you get amount of balls based on the amount of um, team members that you have so because chip and i are both um instinct which is yellow um, we had the, the majority of people fighting the, the legendary were yellow as well, so we got a bonus for that. Um, so, so yeah, there, there, are different, okay. there are different things that, that are attributed to it. Yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's good fun. I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's something to do to and from work, and especially in the summer as well. Like you can just, I can just go over to St James's Park, walk around for an hour, catch some Pokemon, and head home. Yes, uh, it's, it's good fun. But I'm building up. I'm building up my collection to to fund my Let's Go Pikachu account. So. So that does this mean the switch is on the horizon then? No, oh that's yeah. Obviously. What we're getting <laughs> at. Oh, hundred yeah. million. Hundred million. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a switch. I'm getting Stardew Valley. I'm getting everything. <laughs> I'm getting it all. I mean, there's there's more. It feels like there's been just being more and more stuff announced for Switch. There's so like, much. There's day. so much stuff. It's, it's, <clears> this day, it's gross. I don't like it. I don't have the money for it. So that's one thing that I've been playing. The other thing I've been playing a lot recently in the last, in the past maybe two weeks, uh, Chip and I have picked up Warframe again on PC, um, oh, okay. which is really fun to be honest. They've added a bunch of new quests. Um, yeah, we're we're in, we're in the going through the process of like leveling up and 
opening all the worlds and stuff like that like we're so we're not even close to end game yet but um we actually it was off the back of um co carnage so co carnage picked up warframe a couple of weeks ago yeah i saw him playing he, it actually, yeah, yeah he's been playing it so much like to the point where his viewership is just doubling the amount of views that warframe has <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's really cool yeah. it's, it's nuts that he's not a partner streamer to be fair like he should do it because then the people watching him will get gifts yeah, yeah, get yeah. loot drops. Yeah, you get loot drops. So, so yeah, it's been an, and obviously RuneScape, but we won't, we won't talk about that. And that's basically it for me. It's just been. Wait, um... I fucking missed two things I've been playing. Actually, <laughs> did you really? Uh, that's yeah, legit. I, I was just sitting there. I was like, actually, I've been playing more games. I've fucking been horrid games. Clearly, I th- I thought of another one as well actually, but I, I completed Vampire. Oh really? I fucking completed Vampire. Don't get that game. Just don't bother. <laughs> really? No, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing I'm such mixed things hard. about this. Some, some people seem to hard. really like it. It's very soulsy. It's very um, talky. You talk a lot, and it's really inconsequential conversation. And it's like, why have I just spoke to this person I about where he is for about nine mentioning, weeks? Mentioning um, Co Carnage again, I actually saw him playing it. And bringing up what you just said about it's very, very talky. Like, there's one cutscene that lasted. It must have gone on for like... 15, 20 like, minutes. In so the I was end, like, I was just how, skipping conversation. How fucking long is this? Like... I was just skipping conversation because it was just fucking boring. It was just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and that's a really shit. Oh, to be fair, I fucking killed everyone because I was just like, fuck it, I'm eating them all when I'm getting all the XP. Fuck this shit. <laughs> so, but London was fucked. Legit, there was no NPCs left. I couldn't go to anyone. Yeah, everybody yeah, was you fucking can actually, dead. Yeah, you can kill everyone, <laughs> yeah. can't you? Everybody was fucking dead. You couldn't talk to anyone. Kill them all. You even... You either had to fight everyone or just talk to them for a week. So I fucking bit them all and then fought them all. Um, so yeah, that, that, it, was, it was okay. It was okay. I think the game had a good idea, a very, very good idea. And I think if I had a bigger budget, it could have been a very, very good game. But because it had a very small budget, it was a very, very okay game. So it's my two cents. Mm. Uh, and I completed Overcooked. Without, <laughs> nice. without me. <sighs> I couldn't wait. And Mate, we had a 1G bloke. achievement. The worst there was bloke. a 1G achievement, and it was fucking upsetting me. So I had to complete the game, to get the 9G achievement to make it a 10G achievement. It's good. I've, right. I've cooked two. August. You didn't just you didn't just complete the game. You thousand G'd it. Yeah, thousand G'd it. Yeah, I completed <laughs> the game I fully. Fully complete. Yeah. <clears throat> good. Well, yeah, that's I'm game. happy that's, that's for you. Good I just job. wanted to get them out there because I felt like Vampire needed a little fuck you, and but you're quite nice. That's <laughs> so that's games. That's what we've been playing. That only took 28 that minutes. Good job, guys. It's games. Um, we have new stuff. Who who has new things to talk about? I've got a couple of things to talk about actually. Yeah, you, you while while you guys are thinking. So this week uh, started on Monday is <laughs> Summer Games Done Quick 2018, which is a speed running marathon. Uh, hosted by a bunch of awesome people over in America and it raises money for Doctors Without Borders that's the charity they're raising for this uh, this event go watch it if you want to go see people break your childhood games it's uh, (laughs) I I watched a bloke complete Super Monkey Ball in 52 minutes the other day that fucking um, upsets me and that yeah it upset me because I spent about 50 hours on that game (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but it's um yes yeah, so some of the some of the stuff that they do is absolutely insane. Um, the the Zelda runs are always really good. They did a Sonic block where they completed Sonic one, two, um, three, Sonic XD, like like loads of loads of stuff. It was it was really cool. And my watch list on my watch list is Kingdom Hearts coming up on a Friday night, and I'm gonna watch that because oh, okay. I love watching the the people blitz through Kingdom Hearts on the speed runs because oh, the, be the stuff they do is just insane. It's it's so cool. Like there, yes. like there's um, there's a specific spe- uh, a speedrunner called Bloody Biscuits who like specializes in doing level one speedruns. So he will cap, <laughs> he will turn his XP gain off and just complete the game in about five hours as as a level one character. And it's like you're oh, just right. you're unreal. <laughs> like, it's like that dude who was doing Final Fantasy fucking eight with like one character and the whole team was dead apart from this one character and that character was level one or whatever the fuck it was. It was like okay, you yeah, actually random fucking modifier. So, so there's a streamer I watch called Mataco and he does Final Fantasy nine speedruns. He did a Final Fantasy nine speedrun the other day with just Garnet, who is 
the most useless character in the entire series. Like that was it. <laughs> It's that guy. He was on HDQ earlier this year, and he was fucking running Final Fantasy eighteen. Uh, Final Fantasy eighteen. I've just made a fucking game up. He was running running that, and and everybody else was dead apart from that one character. It was like, yeah, then. It's, it's great. <laughs> it's, it's really fun. He, you have to spend like, like a part of the speed run is he has to spend about six hours grinding in one location just to get Garnet to a sufficient level that she can complete the rest of the game. It's like, well, okay. So I'll see you guys in six hours. <laughs> Loses all of his <laughs> viewers. They come back in six hours and he's still there. Like, wow. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so that's SGDQ. Definitely go watch it because it's a very um, awesome event. Like they do, so they do two events each year. They do Awesome Games Done Quick, which is the mm-hmm. sort of the spring, like, like end of winter, beginning of spring event. It usually happens in February, I believe. Don't, don't quote me on that. And then they have Summer Games Done Quick, which is obviously on now. Um, so yes, go watch it. It's very good fun. The other nice. thing I was going to talk about was a Steam sale. So Steam is in the middle of a sale. There are so many games. Oh my god! Like there's just there's too much. There's too much stuff to buy. I mean, I, I was games. I was going to highlight stuff, but partly I forgot, and also there's too much. So <laughs> there's too much. Basically, to anything that's any good is discounted. <clears throat> Pretty anyway. much, yeah. I mean, think this things... is where junkies like me, like I look at it these days, and I'm like, I have that, I have Got that, it. I have Got that, I have that, that, I have that, and then because I have everything, I'm like, this sale was shit. Why is there nothing good in this sale? Whereas <laughs> there's actually really good stuff in the sale. But I think is shit because I have everything. Because I'm a fucking poor. <laughs> the things that stand out to me are Tomb Raider and Nino Kuni 2 they're both like 50% off so nice. I know the uh the Witcher is uh discounted at the minute it's 13 pounds that. that's a that's a, yeah oh no you've got it but I'm saying to anyone listening yeah, like, it's cheap that is, that is Grand a Theft Auto 5 that's, that's, well, um, the, that's the wild Grand hunt 5, it was 13 pounds and that's the cheapest I've ever seen it in the steam sale so that's pretty good pretty pretty good but Hellblade's discounted at the minute as well 14 okay. 14 99 that's good. That's, that's probably what else we got. I'm going to have a look at the top sellers. We'll list some stuff off that's worth buying. Uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. You ain't fucking paid that. 25 quid. What the fuck oh, is that 25 about? quid? 25 wow. fucking quid. Get that's that in your fun. fucking basket. Final Fantasy 15, which is has only just come on PC, is 17.50. That's a fucking no-brainer. That is nah. a purchasable offence right there. Nah, I don't like what? Final Fantasy 15. Have you even played it? Nah. You fuck off. Um, <laughs> what else you got? What else you got? Prey. Prey's a tenner. That's Prey. Prey's a good oh, game. That's not yeah. a bad. Yeah, that's not a bad punt Prey's, for a Prey's a fucking good game. Oh, Dying Light. If you never played that, Dying Light Two's Dying on Light's a fucking way. Fantastic. Dying Light Two is one of our highlights of E3. I think. Oh, like yeah. that game oh, looks easy, great. Yeah, that that game really intrigued me. Actually, I I didn't play the first one, so I'm I'm actually considering. You, you like, should pick that it up. Out, yeah, it yeah. Out, yeah, pick it up now. That is. Dirt cheap on console. Dude, you can get that for probably a tenner. Looks very interesting. Yeah, it looks very interesting. Dead by Daylight, seven pound fifty. You know, if you're if you're into a bit of horror, horror, stabby stab, that's that's fun, fun times. <laughs> Hollow Knight as well. Hollow Knight, great. great. Fucking, can't can't be uh, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's on very Switch good. now as well, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I need to get it on Switch. I don't actually own it. I've never actually played it. It's one one of those games that I need to play. I haven't played Hollow Knight. No, great, it's going to be a very, very good Metroidvania that I have not tried, and I need it. But I'd like it on my Switch because I feel like it's a Switch game. Yeah. Like indie games, I feel like it uh, belong on my Switch, not it's, on my it's PC. It's definitely becoming the indie game platform, isn't it? Like definitely. A, like this handhold, handheld indie game. I think platform. it's because like the style of them, like the, like the visual style of them, is like something you just imagine playing on your Game Boy or something yeah. like that. It's yeah, like it's it's, you've got that portability, and you know. So I think it's a nice. They go hand in hand. They they shake and they walk and they skip and it's, and it's nice. They probably do, they Dutch rudder. It's, <laughs> they, they do what they want. <laughs> If anyone knows what a Dutch rudder is, doesn't know what a Dutch rudder is, Google it. No, um, don't Google that's, it. That's just lowered the tone of the podcast by several bars. This podcast has no no chill when I'm around. Um, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot is out on Friday. <laughs> Dutch rudder is Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. It's out on PC, 20 quid, but it's not in the Steam sale. Oh, Watch Dogs 2, 1650. Hmm. <laughs> all right, we, I, all right we, I enjoyed we, it on console like it was it was a decent enough game it's a nice open it, worldy to be fair it's actually in tesco for a tenner at the minute so i'm tempted to get it on xbox this fucking tenner it's fucking tenner what's a tenner well you're never gonna play it why why would you do it it'll go on my little fucking stack wouldn't it I'll a tenner like is 10 cans of nice why 
which you waste. Actually, it's 12 cans of ice, and it's only £9 if you go on Amazon Prime. <laughs> Kills the ads right here. Kills <laughs> fucking ads right here. I actually said the other day I want a little deal section. A deal, deal of the week. <laughs> 12 cans of ice, £9 Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime, £9. Go buy it. Um, <laughs> any, oh. any more news? I've got, I've got... Uh, I was just going to rattle through me. some... Yeah, go on. I was going to rattle through some Battle Royale stuff because there's a couple of bits and bobs. I mean, but we can skip that if it's fine. Then pair it to a small timer and we'll carry on. Hey, PGI, the um, PUBG Invitational um, EU qualifier is happening in Leicester this weekend. If you want to go over to Leicester and watch so all the pros doing their PUBG stuff, no. go do that. Um, PUBG last week added a Battle Pass, which they've ripped off of Fortnite. Um, the initial... Wow launch didn't go down very well because the xp gain required to hit max level i think they somebody calculated you need to play pubg for like eight hours a day until the deadline of like 21st of july to actually hit the cap um if you didn't fork out for the other one um so they've readjusted re-evaluated the xp gains and made some other tweaks to the challenges so they're a bit more doable um pubg has also dropped their lawsuit against epic for trying to like copy and battle royale because it was stupid um <laughs> in other news epic has decided to sue one of their xqa employees because they apparently leaked information to somebody then posted it on reddit about the season four launch it doesn't sound like it would have made much difference to anything but they're upset about it um fortnite series five has been dated for 12th of july nobody knows what the theme is yet um, obviously because the current theme is all the superhero stuff um, yeah so it's going to change to something um, what else and the Mavericks Proving Grounds um, have launched their Founders Pack there's, um, they had a bit of a presence at the E3 PC Gaming Show and there's a bunch of like quite interesting dev diaries on their site actually talking about the, the tech that they're using like the spatial, spatial OS tech that they're using to manage um like their like large scale battle royale stuff so they have like they basically have a cluster of servers like managing different aspects of the game so like one will manage weather one will manage like environmental stuff and so all these clusters come together so it's kind of more of a distributed computing thing it sounds quite interesting more interesting than i'm probably making it sound <laughs> and quite clever um but yeah i'm, I'm really interested to see how they man marry their kind of they're going to release the Battle Royale stuff first, but then later on they're adding this kind of um, MMO style kind of hub world um, that's going to be kind of part of it. So there's going to be like a so kind of socially world aspect as well. And they're citing stuff like Destiny and RuneScape as their influences. So it's going to be interesting mm -hmm. to see where it goes. What? Yeah, well, that's I thought right. that might get your attention. Um, yeah, so go check, go check out their dev diaries on uh, Mavericks Proving Grounds. I can't remember. I think it's mavericks.gg is how the is, website. Wait, I don't know how they could take influence from RuneScape. Well, they're talking they're talking about economies, like for the the social aspect, the, like the economies and stuff, for, like the MMOE aspects of the game, and things like that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to read this dev blog because I want to know how RuneScape is. Yeah, I think I think they've got two or three dev like dev diary video things up. Um, check them out they seem cool and I like it um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of following it with interest I'm curious to see where it goes because it'd be the first sort of BR game that's then attached this kind of more than a BR game if you like they're kind of they're building this world like beyond it's not just a battle royale thing it's just part of the larger game yeah so yeah go check it out sounds cool anything else no that's it I think that about wraps our news, news section. News. Or have you is got anything? Thing? Oh, okay. No, it's gonna. It, <coughs> it's a good segue. I've got. It will wrap. It will wrap our news section. It will put push us quite nicely into our discussion. Yeah. So, if, if anyone already knew that Sony have been getting a bit of backlash at the moment for okay. not allowing crossplay on Fortnite. And it's causing people who are playing Fortnite on Nintendo Switch to have to make another Epic Games account, which has pissed a lot of people off. Because a lot of people who own Switches own PlayStation 4s, <clears> and they want to play Fortnite on both. And they can't. Well, they can, but you have to make another account. And I've had yeah, to do that, stuff, and it's really it's, it's fucking the, annoying. It's, just, it's the fact that, like, 
if you've been playing on your PS4 for X number of months, like all the stuff, like skins and stuff you've unlocked, doesn't transfer it. You basically have to start with a blank slate account on Switch. Exactly that, and it's fucked off a lot of people. Um, Sony basically turned around and were like, uh, we have no announcement at this time. Um, which, to be fair, I guess they don't need to do it. Like, they, you know, it's not something they have to do. But now, today, I think it was today, yes, today, Sony have turned around and said that they're confident we'll find a solution to cross-platform play with Xbox One and Switch. There is a solution. You flick the button that opens up the server. Yeah, because we, we already <laughs> know it works because there was, a, I think it was a couple of years ago, no, it can't have been a couple of years ago. Well, At some point, for, Fortnite was running. There was one weekend where they did an update to Fortnite and they fucked it up and suddenly Xbox and PS4 players were playing with each other just because they'd accidentally flicked a switch somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah. So, like, yeah. it's already in the game. It's really fucking easy to do. <laughs> like, it's just Sony won't allow it. <laughs> so Sorry, I, suppose, I suppose there are two... <laughs> God. All right, as is just going to die. Uh, as is going to die. It's fine. You, you can meet your mic. Can you die? Good. <coughs> rip, rip as. Rip, rip as. So I suppose there are like two main points of view for this topic, right? So, firstly, it's going to be how it affects the studios, like Sony, Microsoft, you know, all that stuff. And then the second point is like how it affects players. Now, with yeah. I think my my view on this is quite unique really because i'm both for and against crossplay now i'm for it because when you're it, it, i think for me it depends in what scenario you're playing so if you're playing a pvp game where you're playing against other players then i am against it and if this is because i think i mean it, it depends like console to console it's not as big a deal it's obviously the problem is it's the pc to console as you're muted, by the way. Oh, wow. Hello? Hello. Hello. Welcome Hello. back. I was, I was dying laughing because I could feel Perry was like, I want to give my fucking because. And yeah. you just like... You can't see my face, but it was good. It was it was good for the uh, YouTube video. I, yeah, could, I could feel that. Yeah. I could taste it. <laughs> from, from so, my microphone. Be- because when you are playing on a PC, you are at a significant advantage, in my opinion, than when you were playing on a console. Um, that's point one. Point two is it is far easier to hack the game and play with unfair advantages on a PC than it is on a console. Yeah. So it happens all the time in multiplayer games on PC. Like you see it in high ranked Overwatch. You, you, know, you see it everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Um, it actually was really bad on the division for quite a while as well. Like people, yeah, yeah, I people remember that. clipping out of bounds and killing people you know, in the um, in the dark zone and stuff. Um, that's yeah. my, my, my main quarrel. Now, when you take PvP out of the equation, I'm less fussed because it's not competitive. Like, like if it's just a case of... So Warframe is a good example. If I'm... Like, if Warframe was cro- cross-platform, I would be really okay with that because it means that See, you and I can play <clears throat> together. Like, you can play on Xbox, I can play on PC. And there's no real difference, you know? I mean... The thing here, there's actually kind of two strands to this. One is actual cross play, like playing with each other, but the other is the kind of cross save. See, the, which yeah, is like something that's, that's come a up a lot point. with like the release of Destiny 2. Like yeah. a lot of people who are like, well, I'm going to buy it on console because it's coming out like six weeks before, but then when I buy it on PC, like none of my. Like, yeah. I just want to carry it's, on playing more, with my account. I suppose it's more a question of porting your account than it is actually being able to play with people on different consoles. Like, I, yeah. like it's, it's almost like, I don't mind not playing with anyone else on Xbox or PS4 or anything, just as long as I can play my account. Yeah. You know? I get the issue with the cross-save folks, though. I think there's more of a logistical issue with moving accounts and but having the, those there accounts. There isn't, there isn't, because like the, bun, the Bungie account, the, 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 something, something like Destiny... The account, like all your like character data, is held by Bungie. There yeah, but that's, no... that's that's on an account like your Xbox Live account. Yeah, yeah but no, okay, so... I guess they could Fortnite. Well, all right. Okay, but but For, no, no. Fortnite. Destiny is just set up like that, though. I don't. Well, you don't yeah, know Destiny, that. Destiny is set. It, well, well, we do because you, with with Fortnite, you log into an Epic Games account when you when you load Destiny up. 
You just log in with your Xbox Live account. You don't log in. Yeah, you don't have to log into a Bungie account. You but can it is, attach it is, that to a Bungie account. It is, tied but... to a, it is tied to a Bungie account. If you go to the Bungie website, you, yeah, can, you can log in and you can have multiple accounts linked to your Bungie like profile. You can, you can choose how you log in. I imagine there is a logistical issue there to not be able to let you do it, though. There's got to be. But okay, so in the... On a technical aspect, I imagine... In the case of Destiny, maybe it's not set up to do it. Who knows? But, you can't, like, it is totally possible because Epic do it with Fortnite. Like, you, you can't, again, you say, like, you have an Epic account which you sign in. You know, no, these other games could do it. Like, you know, Blizz, Activision, obviously, you... I guess um, they're putting stuff under like Battle.net accounts. Like EA has the Origin account. The you know Ubisoft has the. Um, oh, I think they're just called Ubi accounts now. I think they used to be called something else. Uplay. Yeah, you play exactly. Yeah, so like when I'm playing like Assassin's Creed, like it, it pings like back, you know, pings back to my Uplay account because my Xbox is linked to it, and you can link your PlayStation account. So like they they can do this. The, the cross save stuff is. I think a lot less technical and like, you know, Epic has shown it with Fortnite. Like if I log in on my phone, like it's the same account that I get on my Xbox or the PC. Like it's, you know, it's all the same stuff. So the, the cross save stuff is doable, but in that case, it's literally Sony saying we don't want people to access stuff. They've essentially bought on other platforms. I think that's, on our platform. th that comes, that moves quite nicely onto the next part of it is, how crossplay affects the studios and i think this is the reason sony aren't allowing it it's because they're worried that once they allow crossplay a lot of their player base is gonna you know flee to a different platform yeah but that wouldn't <clears> happen <throat> would it but like logistic like again like it just why would that make sense just because i can play destiny okay so i'll load destiny up on my ps4 and the accounts are unlocked and you can do what you want across platforms why am i then because that's unlocked, gonna go. Okay, I'm not gonna play this on PS4 ever again. Now I'm gonna go play it on Xbox. Like you just wouldn't. Like you, one, you need to own an Xbox, and two, what? Why would it matter? Because it would be crossplay. Because you could play with your Xbox friends anyway. You're on the same fucking account. So you wouldn't need to swap console. You wouldn't need to swap platform. You could just stay where you well, are. Like, I, I suppose the the biggest difference is the crossplay between console and PC. Because yeah. if you give me the if you give me the choice, I'm gonna play on PC every time. Like if you give me oh, cross, definitely. like if you give me Destiny crossplay, then I'm like, yeah, cool. You stick with but your again, Xbox, Ed. I'm gonna play on that's PC. You. Exactly, yeah. that's that's you. Yeah. Whereas Ed doesn't like PC. Well, the Logic doesn't well, like no, it. No, no, hang on. That's, that's not fair. I don't, I don't have a PC that I can play on currently. So you know, there is that. Yeah, but I um, you and, prefer but like, console anyway. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. I do, yeah, I do try it, yeah. but not, it's not that I hate PCs. I think that's. Oh no, I didn't. Mean, that's what I corrected myself. No, I was um, not. but like in in the you know the case of like Destiny, like if you restricted it to like PVE stuff, then that'd be great. Like I'd be able to play with Perry, like like doing strikes or raids or whatever. There would be mm -hmm. no significant, uh, you know, fine like Perry's on mouse and keyboard, but doing PVE PVE activities that doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, if they kind of locked it out of the PvP or something, like it's like I don't see why it's not doable. I mean, I think the other thing is like obviously Microsoft have been very open about doing crossplay stuff for a while, and now the fact that sort of Nintendo are getting involved as well and they're very open about it, it's kind of leaving Sony as the kind of sulky kid in the corner. Well, definitely, it's interesting. Involved. Like with Nintendo, if you get Minecraft on Switch, yeah. you actually log in to <clears throat> a, what's technically an Xbox account. And you get Xbox achievements for playing Minecraft on Switch. Wow. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you mentioned the Minecraft stuff. The big thing last week was the, the fact that, yeah, Nintendo. So Nintendo put out the Minecraft, like, Play Everywhere, like, edition trailer. Yeah. That then shows somebody. Like on somebody, on, somebody, yeah, somebody on a Switch playing with somebody on an Xbox. And the Xbox branding comes up in the Nintendo trailer. It was like. Yeah. Holy crap! Like this is like proper like. Are we are we the, these guys into the are world like, of synergy? Yeah, well, these guys exactly. are like proper, getting proper buddy buddy. Like in Sony. But the just... thing is, Nintendo are in more of a position to do that than than Sony because Nintendo are covering like a dual market. Nintendo are covering the portable and in your home console, whereas yeah. Sony are static with their home console thing, and they don't obviously don't want people to port over to Xbox. 
But I don't see. I think that the real core of this though is is I don't see what having um, a cross play. Why would that drive or affect any sales or anything like that? Like, what would affect that? If people prefer PlayStation, they'll buy a PlayStation. What's drawing people to PlayStation? It's, it's not the sales and things like that. It's, it's not the sales of PlayStation. Like some something like Fortnite, where you have the battle pass that drops, you know, once every I can't know, ten weeks or whatever it is. Um, so the battle pass is like seven or eight quid. But it's it's the cut that they get from the sales of that battle pass so they, they don't want people buying a battle pass on xbox and then playing on playstation yeah, because they've, they've, they've lost, lost out on their 30 percent yeah but if they're already playing on playstation though, they're not going to lose that cut and it's like yeah I know. Like, I, you don't have to convince me of that we're having the debate yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, for the 75 million playstations to the what 40 million xboxes there are anyway so the fucking market share of people who are probably playing Fortnite on PlayStation over Xbox anyway is already far yeah. fucking greater. The, the argument is is kind of flawed, basically. Like they, they've got it this, is, yeah. They've, like, got, they've got this thing about the finances and not wanting people to purchase stuff on other platforms, and they've kind of, you know, they've drawn their line in the sand and they've decided not to budge on it. Um, and it's just starting to make them look a bit stupid. And the other platform holders are like being really open to stuff. And I think. Like at some point they're gonna have to reevaluate. Yeah, definitely. I think I think that you their argument would make more sense if they had the least amount of players on their platform. You know, yeah. Like like yeah. if they if they were worrying about losing players to Xbox, but this is the thing. Like so so I made the point of like game exclusives. Like if you can cross play, then it means that. I can still play this certain game on an Xbox where where I want to play my exclusives, but Xbox don't have the fucking exclusives. PS4 do, you know. Like, this play- the interesting thing is that Fortnite is already crossplay on PlayStation. It's crossplay with PC. You can play with PC from yeah. from PS4. And you mobile. I don't, can I play with mobile? I don't I know. So. I know I definitely can play with PC, but they probably can play with mobile. But it's just Switch and. Xbox. Xbox. Maybe it's just that maybe maybe Sony just have a fucking vendetta against Xbox and they're like, you know what, we don't want to cooperate yes. with you in any way, shape, yeah. or form. That's like it's, it's, it's kind of what it sounds like. Like there's no yeah. reason. For I them mean, not to I do think it. I think the the thing now is though the fact that Microsoft and Nintendo are getting all buddy buddy. It's just starting to make them look I a bit too. I think it's great. We, yeah, we, no, we, it's we, we, We're seeing this this new <clears throat> innovative era of console synergy. Like like imagine imagine what would happen. In ten years' time, if these three companies banded together to just create a super company, like a super console company, like it, it would just be, it would be amazing. I don't know if that will happen. Like, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm it, like, it would I'm be like, so good. I think, I think it would just become the case that you know the the, the platform that you play on, they, there would have to be more emphasis on like first party exclusives, so you buy that platform, but then other stuff is obviously open across the board yeah i think that what needs to be realized is that it's more we're in more of an internet age now it's fucking 2018 people have different platforms people are playing on all different devices and why should you be limited of who you can play with because i don't own the same device as my friend a compared to friend b so yeah what why can't i why can't we all play together that's more the argument yeah why can't why is it not just open because there's literally no need. At the end of the day, yeah, okay, you get an unfair advantage slightly on t- some titles um, playing on, X- on a PC compared to an Xbox and, and things like that. I mean, to be fair, Fortnite, you're at a disadvantage if you're playing on Switch to a to a console because there's 30 FPS for one. And two, it's it's a lot harder con- to control, if you're, especially if you're playing on portable mode. Like, it's, it's a way mm. harder game to control. You're at a massive disadvantage, but that's your choice as a gamer. Yeah. I mean, it, allow, it allows you to make that choice, and it allows you to play with your friends in the way that you choose to play. I can't imagine it would be difficult either to set it up so you can have a server selection thing where you only play with people on your device. Like I can't imagine that's difficult. Like, well, no. I, the way so the way Fortnite works is by default you are only playing with people on your device. It's when oh, you. Oh yeah, you have to. Support it's when support. you part. Well, no. You, yeah, you can either toggle it or it's, it's essentially it allows you to party with or group up with people on different devices. If people on your friends list. 
Yeah. Right? If, yeah. Like, if you're on PC and I'm on my phone, like, we can party up, and at that point, it becomes a cross-play thing. Yeah, sorry, I forgot it's like that. I've got a friend who plays on PS4 and plays with us on PC, and he uh, he can join us when we invite him. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's it's not but like there you go, then. It's, it's not, not like, like yeah, it's not like whenever you join a game of Fortnite, there's people from multiple different platforms. Exactly, playing you're, you're making that conscious decision. Yeah. To to join that, so. Right, I think that's a good wrapping point. I think that we've we've had a good discussion about it. Um, chime in, guys. Let us know what you think. Um, comment. And tell us what you what your opinion is of this, um, because it's a hot topic at the minute, and we want to know what you think about it. Um, I think that's basically us for this week. That was a hey. fucking good episode. Um, thank as you all. Prepare yourself. At, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, I'm, 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 th- I'm, ta- I'm gonna take this fucking horn. Give well, me. Let me hold, hold hold your horses, boy. I'm gonna throw it over Done. to you. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's episode of Guys Playing Games. It's been lovely having you, and we'll see you next week's episode. As him with the socials. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you dick. Yeah, I, was being, I, was, I was being a dick. Uh, yeah, so like Perry said, ch- chime in. Let us know if you think crossplay is a good or a bad fucking idea. It's clearly a good idea, so, you know, we all think it's a good idea. Um, yeah, but you could do that by following us on Twitter. That is at Guys Playing G's. Guys Playing GS. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Guys Playing Games. You can find us on Instagram at Guys Playing Games. So send us all the comments and stuff like that. We'll do some little posts. You can reply. You can retweet. You can do all that good stuff. Make sure you hit the button below if you're watching on YouTube. Hit the notification bell. Get Hit the subscribe button. Do all the nice stuff. This has been a fun-filled fucking episode. We'll be back next week with another topic with some more fucking games we've been playing. I'll try and make play eight games next week. I'll, oh, wait. I played eight games this week. I'll play fucking eight, nine games next week. We'll play all the fucking games. <laughs> we're guys playing games. I have been as... I've been Ed. And I've been Perry. Once again, thank you so much. that is for another fucking week. That is it. I'm rapping. You intro. Fuck you. That's us for this week. <laughs> Peace.